everybody, and welcome to our top 10 quick comic picks. I'm Andy. I'm Matt. We're here with Infinity Flux Comics out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is our real quick show where we show you some of the biggest and best books that are going to be on your store shelves this week. Or you can head over to infinityflux.net right now and buy them. They are live and ready for you to get so you don't miss out on any of the goodness. And let me tell you, we've got some heavy hitters mm-hmm. this week. I feel like we say that a lot, yeah. <laughs> but this time I mean it. Yeah, so we're going to start with Ultimate Spider-Man number two. And I feel like I don't need to say anything else. Like just, you know, the first one was so fantastic. And this one is as well. Now this takes place about two to three weeks after the yeah. end of the first one. So uh, Peter has been sort of practicing with his new abilities. He's not an expert yet, but he's also getting the hang of it relatively quickly. He does, we do see him in a suit in this one. Uh, he does go up against his very first super villain. And uh, with, um, you know, uh, varying <laughs> degrees of success. Uh, there's also a couple of plots with uh, another attempt on Wilson Fisk's life. And Jonah and Ben want to report that story because Fisk won't. You know, he's the owner of the Daily Bugle. They're not going to run it. Just lots of stuff going on in here. Just as great as the first one. Definitely don't miss it if you love the first one. It's part two is out this week. Yep. And some great family stuff, which yeah. I feel like is like the most important part of the book. Yeah, Absolutely. Okay, next up, we've got Cobra Commander number two, and this one is great. So Cobra Commander is on his mission for Cobra Law to track down Energon, and that leads him to the swamps uh, of the Florida Everglades, Mm -hmm. where he meets some dreadnoughts that, uh, let me just say, um, they are doing stuff in here that they never did in the cartoon show. That's right. (laughs) Uh, Those chainsaws are used for more than cutting down trees. Mm -hmm. Uh, You've got uh, Buzzer and Ripper here. Uh, Craziness, but really, really fun. Uh, It's just fantastic. That's another one of the best books coming out right now. Yep. And next is a new one from Image called The Six Fingers. Now, we talked about this a couple weeks ago when The One Hand number one came out because this book runs parallel to that. Whereas the one hand focus on a detective investigating a murder, this book focuses on the guy who actually committed the murder, but he doesn't quite know that he did it, uh, or maybe he remembers but doesn't know why he did it. So a lot of mystery, but yeah, if you read the one hand and liked it, definitely pick this one up because it's sort of the companion book to it. Next up, it's a return to the Spider-Verse. You thought it was over, but of course not. This is Edge of the Spider-Verse, number one, a new mini-series. Uh, like all the other Edge of Spider-Verse books, it's got multiple stories in it. I guess the original Edge of Spider-Verse only had, had a one story per yeah. book. This one has a couple. Uh, but in this, you're going to get uh, the story of Weapon 8. And what is his relationship to Wolverine and the Weapon X facility, all of that. Really interesting. We also have a story about Spider-Bite, who is the Spider-Woman of the internet. internet uh, that's really, really fun. And then... Kind of a surprise final story with Spider-Man 2099 setting up some future storylines. Mm-hmm. So if you're a fan of all the Spider-ness, all the different people donning the um, the suit from across the Spider-Verse, you'll want to pick this one up. Next is Alien, Black, White, and Blood number one. Although there's some there's some green in this one too. Uh, not it's not just all red, but just like all of the other Black, White, and Blood or Black, White, and Red books that you're used to, um, this one does feature three different standalone stories. The first story actually will be continued in the next issue, whereas the other two are just self-contained to this one issue. But just three different stories of xenomorphs. Killing people, basically. Doing what they do. Yeah, doing what they do. But if you're a fan of Alien, you will definitely enjoy this. And speaking of Alien, it's Predator. This is Predator The Last Hunt. And this is kind of a... This is a continuation of the previous Predator series, even though this is a number one. I still feel like you can jump on board with this one. Uh, It does some pretty good... uh, Some catch-up to what happened in the previous ones. But this one does start a whole new story. I love the art in this one. And there's uh, some surprises in this that I did not see coming for longtime Predator fans. So if you're a fan of all that, definitely check this one out. And next is a new book from Oni called Cemetery Kids Don't Die. This is the first issue. And it's about a group of kids who uh, they like to play this MMO type game on a console called the Dreamwave that you play while you're asleep, which sounds pretty cool, right? But uh, when something happens to one of them, 
where when all the other kids wake up and leave the game, the the other kid does not, and he actually gets trapped in the game. And it's actually pretty horrifying the way it looks in the book. So, you know, you'll have to check that out. But the other th three kids are going to have to figure out how to rescue their friend. Interesting. Next up, I've got a Star Wars issue 43. This wraps up the storyline of Luke uh, investigating this red kyber crystal. And if he can cure it and, and turn it back to the light. And while he's in there, he meets a, a Sith that uh, is very obsessed with pain. And you're going to have to see how Luke works his way through this. But this has some big uh, kind of pre-Return of the Jedi uh, stuff going on here where you can see we're just right around the corner from this leading right into that next movie. And last for me, I'm going rogue because I couldn't pick one. So oh, no. I'm, I'm two for my last pick. Both Wonder Woman number six and Batman Superman World's Finest number 24. Both of these are fantastic. Both of these are the, uh, uh, the finale of the story arc that they've been running for the last few issues. The Wonder Woman issue is all-out action. Uh, Wonder Woman fighting a bunch of different uh, villains in her rogues gallery. World's Finest is... Uh, I think the ending is going to have some people talking. It looks like it might be doing something major. I might be wrong about that, but just so good. Both of these are so good. I couldn't pick one, so I had to mention them both. And my last one is Blasphemous, number one. This is the new book from Distillery and by Merka Andolfo, who does the uh writing the art and the colors in this so uh, this is you know almost 100 percent america and Dolfo. this is really interesting about a character i'm not sure if it's Celila or Kalila. it's c-l-e-l-i-a but uh 200 years in the past she made a deal uh we jumped 200 years in the future and she is a uh superstar but within the church and it's very interesting how fame and religion is mixed in this one. But what is her dark secret uh, that may shatter everything? So really interesting one. If you're a Mirka and Dolpho fan, you'll definitely want to pick this one up. And that is it for our top 10 quick comic picks. Thank you so much for watching. Like we said before, head over to infinityflux.net right now where you can order these books. The ones uh, while supplies last are up on the website. So you can go ahead and order them. And stay tuned for a longer show coming up where we're going over these and a lot more comics uh, coming up next. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, see, see ya. ya.